So, uh, Song for Guy, just saw a video that I, uh, we just uh, released. It was on uh, measuring inflammation, and his question was, do you think a flu vaccine shot causes inflammation, or any other vaccine for that matter? Well, I'm pretty sure that the flu vaccine d uh, uh, does, but uh, so does the flu. <clears throat> but uh, just in case, all you had to do was Google that uh, song for Guy. It's very, uh, came up very easily, uh, flu shot, C-reactive protein. So I'm just going to go through a quick study here to make sure that uh, folks have seen this. Um, <clears throat> C-reactive protein responds to influenza vaccines as a model for mild in, model of mild inflammatory uh, stimulation in the Philippines, and this was in the uh, magazine uh, Vaccine. Uh, first author was Mick Dade. And again, it's on. Uh, I'll, I'll put the um, the link on the uh, uh, under the video. <clears throat> now, first of all, why did that come up? Well, even before that, uh, quick introduction: Ford Brewer, F O R D Brewer, B R E W E R, with the PrevMed Prevention Channel. Basically, we're here to help you uh, prevent heart attack, stroke, uh, diabetes. Dementia, the major killers and disablers in the world today. Um, so why would C-reactive protein come up and uh, flu shot? Well, he asked about the flu shot, song for guy one did. But <clears throat> C-reactive protein is one of the tests in the inflammatory panel. If you go back to uh, one of the original uh, docs who focused on heart attack and stroke and... Um, uh, and inflammation, his name is Paul Ridker, P-A-U-L-R-I-D-K-E-R. -E he to focuses almost totally on uh, C-reactive protein. We don't, and here's why, and I mentioned that in the video on testing for um, inflammation. I said you can get way too many, uh, uh, it's not false positives, you're, you're getting a, a true positive when you get it increase in C-reactive protein, but it's too scattered. It's too, there are too many other reasons for that, such as the flu or the flu vaccine, as Song for Guy One pointed out. And thank you for raising the question. <clears throat> so just briefly, uh, it was a large sample of women in the Philippines. This was in, this was a while back. Uh, well, not that far back, 2015. Uh, Community-based sample of women. 934 women, mean ages 55.4. They received the flu vaccine, and three days later, um, they checked their C-reactive protein. They also checked the C-reactive protein on the, the day that they gave the vaccine. So check C-reactive protein, give the flu vaccine, check C-reactive protein again three days later. And here's what they found, a significantly um, significant increase in CRP th three days later. In fact, it was up to 30% uh, increase, 30.5% increase. The p-value on this was 0 0.001. So basically what that means is you can see this on a random, if this were just a, a random finding, only one that one thought less than one in a thousand times. So again, very strong signal that this, uh, and not a surprise, um, that this changes uh, C-reactive protein. It also has looked. We've looked at other markers as well, uh, interleukin six and things like that. Now here's an interesting thing that they found: um, if there was already evidence of in, uh, infection. There was an in, when, when the vaccine was done, there was an increased uh, inflammation marker. That's obvious as well. Uh, what may not have been so obvious was they saw a lower increase if the patient already had inflammation, if they already had an infection. Uh, <clears throat> doing just quick 
um, show of the picture. And uh, yes, that's my dog in the background. Pardon, pardon me, she had to get into the video. Um, <clears throat> a quick check at the, uh, the images. Here is the baseline C-reactive protein and day three. So again, you got a 30% increase. Now, one of the things that, this is a, what we call a whisker plot. And it's one of the things that uh, people, uh, you know, we've been talking about labs a lot recently. And uh, John, for example, posted some uh, frustration on the, um, um, the Freestyle Libre. And uh, there's been a lot of uh, back and forth about that. And one of the things I've said, one of the comments I've continued to say is, look, you've got to, to understand that uh, most labs, this one included, look at this, has a huge, um, the statistics around them are not so cut and dried. This is the 25% value and the 75% value. In other words, 25% uh, of tests are still going to fall below this number and 75% are still going to fall above that number. If you, and that's for the day three number. So look at that, huge overlap in the findings that you're going to get. You have to take a whole population, average it out before you're going to see the difference. So that makes a strong point about why I don't use C-reactive protein alone. I use it uh, with several other tests to make sure that I know the picture that I'm looking at. So again, two points. Number one, yes, C-reactive protein does uh, go up when you take a flu vaccine, and it goes up when, you're, when you have the flu. Um, heart attacks go up when you have the flu. Um, <clears throat> the other point is you got to be careful as you try to interpret labs, and uh, you have to be careful in terms of making assumptions that uh, labs are and biological indicators are the same as machines. Um, it's usually a little bit more difficult than that. Usually there's a good bit more scatter uh, in biological systems, so you have to get a broader picture, take, uh, take other labs as well before you make your decisions based on that information. Thank you very much for your interest.